The disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Did he kill himself? Was he killed? There was something happening here that was bigger than just Jeffrey Epstein. He was known as this Gatsby-like figure of mystery. He was stunningly rich. He had a $20 million house, his own private island in the Caribbean. He has a nickname, the pedophile island. In 2005, the Palm Beach Police Department received reports of young women going to and from his residence. There was an ever-revolving door of girls. Who else was underage? All of them. Those girls brought other girls, too. It's a train, and it goes on and on and on. This case would put him in prison the rest of his life. Have you ever solicited a minor for prostitution? I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. Somehow, his lawyers had worked out a deal with the US Attorney's Office. It was more evidence of the fact he was powerful and he could fix what everything came up. This case was one of the worst failures of the criminal justice system. There was no way that anybody could look at this and think this was OK. There are enough survivors that refuse to give up. I want justice. He's dead, but he did not act alone. None of them have been held accountable. Start digging into his life, pulling out this spider web of people. This is the tip of a much bigger iceberg. Take him down. Take everybody down. The monsters are still out there. You took our freedom, now we're going to take yours.